All right, welcome back to another Laguna quick start tutorial for the PL1220. In this tutorial, we will be using this gear image. Uh, basically, we'll be using this image a lot to show you different ways of working with um, graphics within our DWorks. And this is just a standard PNG image. Uh, it does have a transparent background. I'll go ahead and drop that into Photoshop real quick just to show you that um, you know, technically when we open it up in any graphics program, a, a regular PNG generally has a transparent background. Well, we're going to take this image just as it is into our DWorks and try and do a little image tracing and some graphic works in there. So I'll go ahead and hide Photoshop and let's call up our DWorks. Okay, so I've launched our DWorks and I'm now inside of um, the program here. And the one thing you always want to do is just make sure that your um, table size is set correctly and um, that you have your configuration setting, your page setting is set up to the 500 by 300 because sometimes um, by default it might just go back to its default state. So anyway, which might be larger, this table size might be larger. So we'll go ahead and get out of that. Well, it's very easy to import graphics in our DWorks. We'll just go to File, we'll come down to Import, and in this case, I have this gear, and I believe it's the standard Gear 1 PNG. Uh, there it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it, and there it is. Okay, well, because this is a PNG image and it has a transparent background, it's not really going to show up. Uh, we need about two colors in there because the bitmap, um, it wants to scan and it wants to scan black areas. And in this case, it just replaced everything in this graphic with black. So you can see we're working with PNG images um, with a transparent background is not going to be very good. If I went to the preview mode here, you'll see where even if I ran the simulation, it'll just start scanning all of this black area because it recognizes this image to be black. So how do we fix that? Well, I'll go ahead and hit escape to get out of this um, simulation. And there we go. Well, the first thing I would do is probably just select this bitmap and delete it and bring in another uh, PNG image. And th this time I basically put a white background behind behind that and re-output it as a, a PNG. So here's here's our PNG that um, is has a white background behind it and there it is and I'll go ahead and hit open and we'll see what happens with this one. Well you can see where even putting a white background behind there um, is now interfering with with the actual gear so we don't want to do that. So what do we want to do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and delete that PNG and I'll open up another one that I have prepared and that will be the one that we'll be using and we'll take a look at this one uh, in Photoshop as well. So this one is the gear one and it's a white and black. So I'll go ahead and open that and there it is. Okay, so you'll notice that it's oversized and let's go into Photoshop real quick and take a look at, at what I did to get that image. All I did really was just created another layer. So if you just go to layer, do new layer, and we'll put that underneath our, we'll put that underneath the gear, turn the gear off for a second and make sure I have the white selected. And I'll go ahead and click on the white in there, paint that in, and then I'll turn on my other layer and basically just file and export this we'll, or we'll actually just save this as um, a dot png all right so i've already done that and that's how i got the correct png version working now you can do this with jpegs and everything else so i just wanted to show you there are some nuances with dealing with a png image uh, inside of our DWorks. Okay, well, here it is. Let's downsize this just a little bit. Let's bring this down to say 10 inches. I'll just adjust it up there and bring it into the work area. And now if I go into the simulation mode, um, 
it should do just what I think it's going to do and that's scan all of this area that's the greenish color so that would be engraving or you know etching something into the material um, I'm fairly confident that that will do its job so I will go ahead and hit escape and we'll get out of this simulation I'll hit stop and then escape sometimes it takes it a second I'll middle mouse button press in and drag and move this and scale it up a little bit and now let's take a look at this image if you by any chance have this output as set to no I'm gonna double click in this no section and you go back to your simulation you'll notice where it doesn't it's not outputting so it's asking you to double click to import the work file so we don't ever really want that so the best way to to deal with that is just to hit escape and I'll go ahead and switch this back to yes now if we have a whole bunch of different um, scanning and cutting operations going on over here you will be able to turn one of these layers off and still get output so it just basically we we're just telling the simulation that there's nothing to output that we need to load something up so always be conscious of your output area there okay well we do image tracing inside of um, our D works real simply what you'll do is select your image and come up and grab this thing called the bitmap handle and when you do you'll see that it shows up here in the display window and you can vary some of these things um, depending on what you're doing in this operation we are going to basically scan this so that we can get you know an image trace and get our proper vectors uh, saved out from this image inside of um, RDWorks so what I'll do is I'll I'll just show you what happens when I bring down these brightness levels and contrast levels if you make an adjustment there you won't see anything happen right away here you have to sort of apply it to the view okay so there it is now in this case we're just doing a black and white trace so I'll go ahead and set this one back to zero and I'll set the contrast back to zero and hit apply to view and now we'll be back into our regular um, image okay so the next thing we want to look at this um, output resolution um, generally it's going to vary a lot depending on what you're doing but I think a good safe bet is to set your output resolution to about 300 I'll just start with 300 and then um, that'll be our output resolution now um, I'll go ahead and apply that to the view first so that when we do our tracing next which we're gonna go and 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 press this get outline button I'll go ahead and do that and there it is so you can see where you can sort of zoom in with your scroll wheel on the mouse you can see where it really made a nice image trace in there of this um, this gear okay so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're gonna apply that to the source which means our source is our main main image out here so once we hit apply to source that's great I'm gonna hit OK and now you'll notice that we have a scan and a cut okay so if I click on my my bitmap out here or my gear I can hide this and then we'll be able to see this cut layer so I'll go ahead and, and click on the hide this layer and now you can see we have all of our individual vectors and those are ready to cut so let's click on our cut and I'm gonna double click this cut to get our parameter box and you'll notice it says processing mode is on cut that's great it's gonna go at a speed of about 10 millimeters per second which is okay for this so you might want to go a lot slower depending on the material but generally cutting is a little slower than scanning or engraving so I'm just going to leave that there I'll hit OK and let's come up and make sure that it will output now you'll notice that um, everything is chosen here to output um, the scanning and cutting operations I will hit escape for a moment just to show you that um, scanning and is on for the output and it's also on for cutting in this case I think what I'll do is I won't output this scan I just want to take a look and see how well our cut is going to go so I'll press the simulation button there 
and we'll go ahead and simulate and there you have it it will cut and I'm fairly confident it'll go through there and be just do a beautiful job so yes RD works is um, a very capable program for doing bitmap tracing and a lot more things which we'll get into in, in some later tutorials okay I'm going to hit escape and there you have it so that's the basic function of tracing a bitmap inside of RD works and um, yeah, just be very conscious of what you're doing over here with your outputting and, and hiding of your various layers, and um, you're good to go. All right, well, hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.